Hello everyone, before we get into today's video, please follow our socials, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, Instagram and Twitter. Alright, thank you. Hello everyone, welcome back to the How's It Going Podcast channel, episode 3 of season 2. Happy Father's Day to everyone, we are recording this on Sunday at about half 12. Uh, we usually do it on the evening, but you know, it's Father's Day, so we're all, we're all kind of get, get stuff out of the way. So yeah, Shout happy, to happy all Father's the fathers. Day to everyone. All the shout out to all the fathers out there. All the big all units. the fathers, you know how we do. All the so, units. <laughs> Let's go. I hope if you did uh you... you better wish your dad happy but happy birthday. Did happy you birthday. wish your dad a happy Did you wish your dad a happy father's day? Luke? I did I did wish my dad a happy father's day. Did you wish I definitely dad a happy wish my dad a, I wish my dad a happy father's day, the Let's big go. unit himself. You know how we do. Um yeah, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Um the last video did but amazingly well it's our second most um well doing video this month so yeah shout out to saint t and all that and uh yeah let's get straight into it so this episode is going to be a bit of a laugh bit of a chill one it's going to be about would you rather questions as you can tell by the title um so i've got a few questions here that you can kind of debate them but it's like more of a straight answer kind of thing how many have you got i've got like I've got like eight or something so, nah. so right. We're so, gonna... you ready for the first one? I'm ready for the first one, Luke. You better be ready. So, right, first one. Would you rather be rich or rich and famous? What? So, wait, what? Say that again. Would you rather so, be rich? Would, would you or rather rich be rich, rich and famous or rich without the fame? Probably rich without the fame, because then you can enjoy the money. Yeah, because if you think about it, you know, like when people are really famous and they just can't go anywhere in public, and be like, we, you can't go can, on nice we holidays. Can relate, or... We can relate to that. Oh yeah, I can't go outside me. Can't Too go many outside, people, people wanted, to wanted a picture with me. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Chill, man. Yeah, yeah like, um, same with me. Probably like some people don't want the fame. No, but. It, I mean, I actually feel quite bad for some celebrities because they just have no social life because they can't go out anywhere. They can't go like to without park getting or whatever. Or they can't go. They can't shopping. They can't just go out for a normal day out. It has to be a planned public event, otherwise they just get swamped by paparazzi. Yeah, exactly. They can't go like two minutes down the road without getting swamped. That must be bad, you know. Like that's the one bad thing that people don't think about when they want fame is like, if you think about it, you have no proper friends anymore because everybody's mates for you just because you're famous and you, yeah, you've got money yeah for the money and the uh and the clout or whatever they call it the, the attention and things like that yeah exactly so that's probably the same with me like it's just the the thing with fame and money is people want it so badly but like you said they don't think of the actual effects that it can give to them like the car, no, the car, no, the car just... can't go down to the shop and buy a, buy a buddy twenty five p energy drink. Can't do none of that. It's not even that. It's things like some of them can't even have. They can't even have social media because people try to hack their accounts all the time to try and expose them. It's kind of leak yeah. information. It's like a lot of them don't even have phones. You know, some of them. Yeah, I know. It's quite some bad, really though. really famous people. I don't know how they like stay in touch with everyone. They gotta have some kind of a phone, but they must have two phones. I got two phones. Uh, the probably <laughs> um, <laughs> that's that's the thing. Like with um, with social media and stuff, like you just you just don't know. Like people, because obviously they will want the fame of leaking your information. So that's why people don't have anything like that. Probably well, everyone tries email. to make you. Everyone tries to make you. They try and expose every little like wrong detail about you. Yeah. Even if it's like the slightest thing, it could trying, be like trying to cancel people or whatever. Like that. Imagine, imagine if you, you they try and dig up something like you didn't say a happy birthday to your friend when you were thirteen. So they try and dig it up and go, he doesn't care about people. That's what, that's the links that people go to. It's just little things like that, and they just try and ruin your ruin your image for no reason, just because they want a bit of your attention. In it, like they just. A lot of people are just attention seekers. Yeah, um, I know. The uh, the next one 
is like a kind of uh kind of just a random one and it is i saw it and i'm like what and it was would you rather go um colorblind or lose your taste hmm what so i just all of a sudden went colorblind or i just lost my taste like tomorrow like you instantly lost your taste or you instantly just went colorblind what and sort of colorblind like full color but I, I don't know i'm not a doctor but like it's full color it just says full color blind well so well i don't really know how color blind works is it like is it like people see the world in black and white like some <laughs> I have people no idea. I, I thought it was just when <laughs> when people can't just can't see certain colors mm. I don't know. Mm. if it probably me, i'd rather probably lose, taste yeah i'd rather i'd lose my taste I, I could probably live with that, to be fair, after a while. Well, I mean, you could probably eat whatever you want then, and you wouldn't really be affected by it. Yeah, you could eat healthy stuff and you just won't care. You and, won't be a fussy eater. Yeah, and there'd be no need to say, oh, I want a bar of chocolate, because you can't taste it. No, everything just tastes the same. Yeah, at least if you don't go colorblind, then, you know, you can, you can actually see things, probably. It's like when people say, would you rather be deaf or blind? I'd rather be uh, deaf. That's a good yeah, one. I'd rather be deaf or blind. Deaf. I'd rather be deaf. I can't. I couldn't do it. Because you can work a, you, There's a better work way around it. Because I've been blind. I know you get them one of them sticks and you have to read in braille and stuff like that. But or sign language, however. Yeah. Sign language is for deaf, in it. Yeah. So I mean, that's the easiest way to work around it because you can still communicate properly with people. And it, yeah, I know. What I mean. And you can have hearing aids. Exactly. So. There's always a way. Always thinking. Always thinking. <laughs> Go on, bang us another question. All right. So, would you rather? This is quite a popular one. Would you rather know the date of your death or um, like the cause of your death? The cause. Why? Because I think you you you'd you'd be <laughs> able to come to accept it more, and you won't be afraid of of it but then again you'd be like oh my say your cause of death would be getting hit by a car you go outside you'd be, you, you'd be afraid to go near cars wouldn't you yeah thing is though I I, I don't know because if, if it tells you the exact time then you could always like think of all the possibilities but if it gives you the cause say like heart attack or something like that then you can't really do all but if it's like obviously like you said a car crash or whatever you just stay inside mm. or you'd work around that yeah but what if like when you know it's inevitable so even though if you stay oh, yeah, in at yeah. home every day even if you stay at home every day to avoid getting hit by a car for example you, you've been to told you're going to die by hitting by getting hit by a car so what if a car just ran through your house and just hit you and hit you and died <laughs> so you can't avoid it any you can't avoid it either way so it's fair. more of like an acceptance thing like you just got to accept that's what's going to happen all right fair enough <laughs> um so i would i would um choose knowing how i died rather than when if you if you're watching let us let us know down in the comments what you think because i'd uh i'd be happy to i'll be happy to uh reply to a few comments you know like let's have a Let's get we the want, comment section going. We want going. to know. <laughs> we want to know. But get the comment section going. In it. Get gets our videos out more. Um. So <laughs> <laughs> I've just had another email. Let's go. Um. So the next one is: Would you rather stay in for a date or go out for a date? Out for a date. Yeah, but Any people, people could argue that. Why? Because if it's like, if it's pouring it down with rain. You just sit in and watch a movie or whatever. No, but what, I, I thought you meant like saying, go out. Like, it's bar- like thought, it can be boring. I thought you meant like go out somewhere, so like to a restaurant. No, like I mean, go out as in like doing outside. Yeah, yeah, like somewhere outside or whatever, or staying inside. Oh well, well inside then. Yeah, but thing is, though, people inside, so people like choose a... weird stuff for a date, you know. Like what? Like I've heard like you know, celebrities, <laughs> they go sky, like skydiving for dates and stuff. That'd be sick. That'd be alright, laugh. 
you and your girlfriend I imagine just, I imagine you just look and you just with your partner or your girlfriend or whatever and like right so we're going on a date where are we going we're going scuba diving in the Pacific Ocean we're going sick. zero gravity flying up in there I, I'd do that I'd love to go in, zero gravity like, it's like you're in space what in one of them planes yeah it's like you're in space what in one of them planes that, that nose dives to the ground and it's like zero gravity that would be so That'd sick be pretty cool It'd be, you know, like when they go out and do activities for like dates, it's like on, um, you know, on Take Me Out when they go to the uh, Isle of Fernando or whatever it's called. <laughs> when they all go like fishing and that on the first date, and then they get rejected. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> I can't imagine imagine spending a lot of money on a first date and then they just got to turn around and say, "No, nah, you're all right." Would you go on holiday on your first, like, date? Like, oh. you take them on holiday? No. <laughs> not, not me, per- No, not per... It, not it, like... Wait, no, ha- like... Ha- right, how long have I known them? You've known them a while. Say, like, three you've months. You've known them a long time. Oh. No, like, a, a year, year. Two years. Year. It depends where... Like a year or two years. I won't, I won't go somewhere like America where it costs loads of money. No, let's say go down you take them on holiday to somewhere in England. <laughs> go down to Scarborough. No, for let's just say you go for like three. Di- you go for like three days away somewhere. You go like London sightseeing. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, for three days. Yeah, yeah, but if it's abroad, then that's a bit. I don't know. Because like you could go that's there. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah, because then you could go there and then, like, you could just say no, no, because you never know. Yeah, but if you don't get on. If you don't get on as well and you're abroad, you can't exactly leave them, can you? Yeah, it's like when you take mates on holiday. Like if you if you have an argument, then it's done, isn't it? Well, no. What do you mean? Like if you had an argument when you're on holiday? No, like if you had an argument you, on your holiday I mean, and you wanted to go on, then you're kind of stuck there, aren't you? You can't, can or you? If you're abroad. If you're abroad, you can't just come home. <laughs> You can't just go home halfway for a holiday that you've paid thousands of pounds for. Yeah, true. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. I'd start staying holiday. Obviously, I would. I thought you meant you just leave them. It's like say you're like first week into a two week holiday, and then you fall out, and then you just go right my phone. <laughs> right, bye. <laughs> I'm trying to have a look at some more. Go on and ask us a ask us another question. Oh. Would you rather win twenty five thousand pound for yourself, or have your friend win a hundred thousand pound? Say that again. You just cut out from there. Yeah, you just froze for like a good five seconds. But it were um, would like you rather rather win uh, twenty thousand pound, or have your best friend win a hundred thousand pound? Hmm. Does the friend get to share it with you? It's up to you. Well, it's it ain't up to me, is it? It's up to you if you ask them. Well, if you, if right, think about it. If they're your best friend, then most likely they'll give you it. Yeah, they're you not going to give me like. They'll give me something. They won't. They probably won't give me all of it, all half of it. Maybe. Yeah, but they might use that money for a lad's holiday. That is true. Like a lad's holiday or buys you a car? Hmm, I don't think they'd buy you a car. Depends. Depends what you've depends done to what... your friend. Yeah, depends what. Probably the best friend one, because, like you say, they, they might be generous to give you things. True, it depends what friend. But then again, 20 grand straight in your hand. And you, you could always give a bit of money to your mate. But then it is only 20 grand, isn't it? Yeah, twenty. Well, twenty grand is a lot of money, but not in like if you've got bills and paying for food and stuff like that. Yeah, true. You got to like. He's got like there's one half that's being selfish, like taking the money for yourself, and then there's another half for being generous, but you just can't decide. Hmm. Um, would you rather work a high-paying job that you hate, or your dream job with only enough money for basic <laughs> stuff? Probably um, the power of editing, tell you. I don't know. I don't know, you know. 
I mean, if you do the hating one, like the hate, the job you hate, but you're earning a lot, you're still earning a lot of money, so you could make up for it. Yeah, but like you hate it, like you just can't stand it. It's one of those jobs where you hate going every day. I mean, probably the dream job then, because at least I'm enjoying my life and I'm still like, I'm enjoying my life. Ah, uh, yeah, so. true. I'd rather enjoy what I'm doing than have a job where I don't, and then I'll, I'll you'd still be earning money. But you just want yeah, but like you, a, a I mean, if you if you really went into it, you could probably just save up loads of your money. You just save and save and save it. But because you're enjoying it, it don't you don't dread going into work every day. So you're just saving money and earning money. And do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's it's again like it's between two sides, isn't it? But the thing is, what I what I'd recommend people do is with the dream job. It might be your dream job, but if you're not happy, then don't do it. <laughs> like, don't I, I, do, yeah, don't, don't do anything you don't enjoy. That's... It's like, it's kind of like when you know when your parents say get a job. If you don't, if you don't think you'll enjoy the job, like a part-time job or something, if you don't think you'll enjoy it, then what's the point in doing it? Because for me personally, I'd rather do a shelf stacking job at HMV or something like that than photocopying or whatever, because then. Even if it's low up here, I'd still enjoy going there. Yeah, you won't you won't dread the hours. You're still earning money, I I yeah. Money is money is money at the end of the day. Yeah, true. What the hell are some of these? <laughs> I thought you had a list. I do, but we've talked about them so I'm just on this website. I see, I see, senor. <laughs> Go on. Right. I'm just choosing a random room. one. Would you rather lose all of your teeth or lose a day of your life every time you kissed someone? Lose all your teeth because you just get fake teeth to replace it. Ah. Thinking. You see, you Good see. Good thinking, Batman. Good thinking, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> thinking, Batman. <laughs> um, there's one here. It says, would you rather um, give up like swearing forever or give up like ice cream for 10 years but like if you don't like ice cream so for you would you rather give up watching wrestling for 10 years or stop swear you, you can't swear for the rest of your life um, and it's same with me i can't i can't listen to music if i chose the other one probably give up swearing because I mean, you shouldn't. Ooh. You shouldn't swear, people. You swear. <laughs> yeah. Don't be um, swearing. in. <laughs> Thing is, though, in music, the swearing music anyway. So. Yeah, but you just can't. You, you you cannot say swear words. This music so. sucks. I don't give two bucks. D ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done that when you're texting someone? You you try to say. Book and then he says duck off or whatever yeah <laughs> would you rather lose <clears throat> all of your friends but win the lottery or keep your friends but you don't get a raise for the rest of your life let's say that again would you rather have um, no friends but you win the lottery or you have loads of good friends but you're on like you're on like a basic job oh no no you, you're on a basic job but you don't get a raise for the rest of your life so you can't earn any more money than what you've already got. Yeah. Uh, the one with the friends. Yeah, because I'd rather one. have friends than money. Yeah, that's. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to that. win the lottery, but <laughs> I'd rather keep my friends. Nah, I'd put friends before money. Yeah. I'd put it would. It would be money. nice to have money, but like, once you have money, you'll realise then you don't have any friends. And then if you do have yeah, but... friends, they'll only be with you for the money. What do I know? I've got I've got a question. What do you enjoy? What do you value more, money or friends or like family? Friends and family, obviously. Because if you, you choose a five pound note over your mum, that's a bit weird. No, but some people would say money because they'll say, "Well, money buys happiness." When it when it don't, and it that's it, like it the can biggest. Tem it can temporarily, temporarily, but not permanently. Because eventually you'll run out of stuff, and then and then to what, buy. what are you going to do? You're just going to sit alone in your. Yeah, but you, you, you'll, you run out of things to buy 
yeah, you run out of things that will like, make you happy. It's like on GTA. You know, like exactly. when you play GTA and you've bought everything and then you give up. You can relate. Like, <laughs> you don't play anymore. I don't play it because, I mean, there's nothing that interests me in that. And that's what happens when you when you get loads of money. You just don't have any. You don't care about anything. Yeah, you give up friends and say, oh, no, I've got money. I don't need you. And then it's like, have you seen that one episode of Fam- Family Guy where Peter wins a lottery and then all his friends ditch him? Yeah, because he just values money over friends. I know. I think friends, right? Friends get you further in life than money. Because if you were ever in a bad situation where, let's say, you didn't have any money, if you've got good, loyal friends, they'll help you and sort you out. Yeah, yeah. Um, Would you rather get stranded in Antarctica or the desert? Um, Like, say, the Sahara Desert. Antarctica. Why? Because you'd probably like it won't be as bad because you're gonna die either way. So if you're in Antarctica, you you get cold. Obviously, you get colder and you'd freeze to death, and your body and your brain would slow down, so you won't really feel it as much. True. Well, well, that, well, well, Sahara the both desert, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in Sahara Desert, you'd feel it more because the heat, the heat, the sunstroke, heat, dehydration, the... sunburn. I can relate. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> sand, like no one likes sand. Anakin Skywalker don't like sand. No, he doesn't. <laughs> no, he, he hates sand. Um, would you rather marry the woman of your dreams or have your dream job? <laughs> Oh. Me personally, oh. I'd rather have a dream job because then you just you just meet someone else. You yeah, you probably would meet them through that. But but then what if your dream if your dream job is something of fame? Would your wife be fake? Would they not Ooh. love you? Would they not treat you the same? Ooh. Well, you'd have to. That's a good question, that, because you'd have to... Obviously, you'd have to get to know them over a longer period of time. And if they ask for money all the time or whatever, then they're fake, innit? But if they just don't care, they treat you like a normal person, then they're uh, they're good. No, but somebody doesn't just have to ask you for money to be fake. What I mean by is, is like, would they have come... Would they have chose to socialise with you if you didn't have that job? Well... Well, you don't know because you're already you already have that job, so you can't really ask him if I didn't because I wouldn't know you. But obviously, then yeah, they have to get to know your personality. Yeah, but I'm saying it would they value you different? Would they see you differently in the world? Um. So it'd be like, it let's say, some, fame, let, let's say, a lot of weird stuff. let's say you get a girlfriend. Would they see Luke Coates the person or Fade the rapper? <laughs> um. I don't know, you know, because I don't know. It depends who it is. Yeah, you'd have to really like trust them, but then would <laughs> you can ask so many questions based off that. I ain't saying she a gold digger. Like, I would probably pick the. Um, I I would have to pick the dream job one because that that makes that puts me in a happy place when I'm just on my own and then I can worry about relationships after that. Yeah, true. So, that is a good, that's a good question to debate. Yeah. Um, because it comes down to like how you treat in society by people based on what you do. Yeah, it's based on how you're seen. Like like you said, are you seen as Owen the big wrestler or Owen Coxon? The big wrestler? Oh, <laughs> big sure. Make sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, another one is: uh, Would you rather drown to death or burn to death? Drown. Why? Because I think I don't think it takes as long. Oh, I don't know. I don't think it takes as long to die if you drown. I said a team Snapchat notification. Let's go. I got one earlier. <laughs> yeah. Let's team, go, Snapchat. team Snapchat. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think I think it's 
it, it's like going to sleep I've heard as, as weird as weird as that is that's it's like I've going heard. to sleep in an ocean <laughs> apparently um, but obviously when you set on fire some people like you could be on fire for ages and you still die I mean look at people who have like third degree burns and still survive Jesus Christ <laughs> when you said that you made me think of that scene from Star Wars where uh, the burning what, what's his name in the first the first uh, film Qui-Gon Jim. Jim. <laughs> Qui-Gon Jim. Yeah, when they're burning his body. Uh, Liam Neeson. That's him. Burning, burning his body in the last scene. I love you know it's called Qui-Gon Jim. Jim. I thought I said Jim. Yeah, you said Jim. Yeah, I thought it was Jim. No, it's Jim. I haven't seen that in a while. Why is he called Jim? I don't know. Why is he called Jim? Oh, Master, Master Bloody Jim. <laughs> Master Jim. Master Jim. <laughs> see how much of a Star Wars fan I am. Don't test me on Star Wars. I will clap back with knowledge. <laughs> Would Go on, you I'll ask one more and then we'll, uh, and we'll end it off. Um, this is a pretty easy one, but it's like a good one, like links back. Would you rather be rich as as a bloody, a bloody Jeff Bezos, yeah, but have no friends, no family at all? Like, be rich, you can buy whatever you want. Or um, be dirt poor, like the lowest of the low in terms of like class, and have like a lot of good mates. I'd have to pick the rich. I'd have to pick the rich one in that because, I mean, it's good and all having mates. Sometimes you got to think about but yourself. If, if you are like of of poor as, if you are as poor as can be, then no matter what, like. I don't see value in, in, in your life if you're that poor. Like, I know what I mean. Like, it, it'd be a hard life, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, it'd like, be a hard life. Sometimes you got to think about yourself. Sometimes um, you do, yeah. Not in not in all cases, but, you know, just in certain no, cases. You, 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 friend, I do think friends come before money, but, I mean, in some, t- in some instances, you do have to put yourself first, don't you? Yeah, yeah. And that's just the, the thing you've got to do, isn't it? Yeah. So, ending off this... I've enjoyed this. Just uh, just chilling, debating. Uh, ending off this Chilling podcast. and chatting. Chilling and chatting. Ending off this uh, Pretty Banging podcast. Um, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, go down to the link in the description. Follow us on Spotify. If you're listening on Spotify, click that follow button. And, download uh, them episodes. Download the episodes. Them, Leave us a five star review episodes. on Apple Podcasts. Yeah. Check out the Instagram. Check out the Twitter. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in uh, episode four, which hopefully we'll have a guest. Hopefully, hopefully. We'll see you in uh, see you in episode four. Uh, goodbye, everyone.